Greetings from New England to all of our disciples on campus across the country. I'm here today to introduce you to the first in a series of good news videos from across the country. Now, this past year's ICMC, all of the campus ministers, we actually got together after the conference was over just to discuss how we were doing reaching our campuses. And through the inspiration of Tom and Kelly Brown, we made a decision to all write down how many people we believed our ministries should be able to convert this year. And as we totaled all of those numbers up, it was amazing. It equaled exactly 2,200 people, which happened to be the exact amount of people who attended the ICMC this past summer in Cincinnati. And so from that day, a dream was born to baptize an ICMC this year. You know, so far in July and August, we've already seen 70 people across the country baptized, and I can't wait to hear what God has done just in the month of September. And so in order to stay united in this dream together, every month we're going to hear good news from campus ministries in a different region of the country. And this month, New England is excited to share with you what we're doing to baptize an ICMC on our mission fields. As the new school year was starting, we wanted to make sure that we were kicking things off, make sure that we were running to the fight. And so the campus ministers across New England, we decided that we were going to try and share our faith with 10,000 people in the first week of school. And it's incredible to see the fruit that is already coming from that. Now, wherever the gospel is preached, people do respond. You know, down in Connecticut at the University of Hartford, our campus minister, Siobhan Campbell, and his leaders, they shared their faith with a thousand people in just the first two weeks of school. And they've already seen almost 50 people come to their discussions in the first couple weeks. At another one of our campus ministries, Bridgewater State, our campus minister, Mervy, he took the initiative to start a Bible discussion in one of the freshman dormitories. So they've been bringing milk and cookies every week to their spiritual milk discussion. And just this week, they saw 26 freshmen come out for some double stuffed cookies and to hear the word of God preached. And it's been inspiring to see in downtown Boston, we've had a resurgence of students wanting to train for the ministry. We have an intern program that we do, and it gives ministry training to students who are trying to figure out if that's for them. And currently we have 13 men and women who are a part of that program every single week. And 10 of them are brand new interns who just signed up and stepped up this September. Lastly, it's been inspiring to see what God has been doing at UConn. You know, in the last few years since Matt and Veronique Weber have been leading the campus ministry, they've seen it grow from one to 20 disciples on campus. This is the kind of things we need to see at our large state schools. You know, they just graduated two students into the WNBA, and they're shining their light there, but even though they just graduated some, uh, they're not done yet. They have our youngest evangelist sharing his faith on campus. That's enough, that's enough. That's enough, pass him out. <laughs> This is what God has been doing and what we've been doing in New England to run to the fight and to baptize an ICMC this year. Please pray for us to convert men on our top Boston schools as well as to raise up more leaders who can go throughout New England and take on campus ministries that still are in need of campus ministers. We love you all very much, and we're encouraged to know that our brothers and sisters throughout the country are going through the same stuff that we're going through. We will see you next month as we hear from our brothers and sisters on the campuses of Florida. I'll end by asking you to pray about what you can do to baptize an ICMC this year.